There is one story dominating the news tonight. Let's take another look. Funeral details are expected tomorrow for Sir Paul Holmes, who died today at his Hawke's Bay home. His career on television and radio spanned more than 40 years, and he's considered by many to be the greatest broadcaster of our age. John Key called him a remarkable New Zealander, and cartoonist and friend Tom Scott said he was absolutely irresistible. Sir Paul gave his last television interview to the Sunday programme's Janet McIntyre just two days after he was knighted in a special ceremony at his home. Can you put in your words, perhaps, um, why you think you've, you've earned this? Because I love people. And I really worked hard. And I did it well, I think. On the whole, did it well. There were some slip-ups. There were some bloody stupid moments. I went too far. I upset some people. I upset some bad people too, which I don't mind. But I also upset some good people, I think. And that bothers me. What was the story that you were most proud of? I'm very proud of what we did with Eve. Eve and Grafforst. And without being self-conscious about it, it, I think allowed, Eve allowed us to see, to show the better sides of our nature. You couldn't help but love that little girl. And she had AIDS. Okay. Another kiss and you? a smile, Paul. Looking. I said that you can pick a little girl up who's riddled with this disease, and you're not gonna catch it yourself and die. You can let her kiss you. You can let her put her hands all over your face and touch you and feel your face. I was never afraid of that. A lot of people wonder, Paul, how did you do it for such a long time, working both ends of the day and right through the day as well? Mm. For 16 years, was it? Yeah. Sheer bloody-minded stamina. What kind of toll does that take on you? God knows. It denied me time with my kids. My kids never got that time after school. You know, I've lived a diverse life. And one that... I've known some wonderful people. I hope I've been wonderful to them in return. Um, I hope the Lord decides I'm on the right side of the ledger, that's all. I'm sure you'll be right with the big guy, Paul, to us. You are one of those wonderful people, and personal thanks for the words of encouragement all those years ago. It was a, uh, a privilege and an education to work with Paul. He had it all, wit, intellect, extraordinary empathy with people from all walks of life, and, and that mo most magnificent of qualities, uh, generosity of spirit in spades. Moi mai rai, rest in peace. Another old radio colleague is standing by to bring us sport from the Wellington Sevens. Andrew Saville joins us at Westpac Stadium. Andrew. Yes, Wendy, certainly a day with a strong tinge of sadness for the crew here at the Wellington Sevens. A lot of people in our crew work with Paul for the last 20, if not 30 years. Personally, I don't think I'm going to offend many people. He was the greatest broadcaster I ever worked with and taught me so much. Uh, about striving for excellence, about being yourself on air as well. So my thoughts go out to Sir Paul's family. He will be uh, greatly missed. To the sevens, it's been a real big day of upsets.